<laughs> Hello everyone. This is IR Chewy. So I bring you all a tutorial here on how to stream to ustream.com or .tv or whatever it's called. Let me see. Yeah, ustream.tv. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna need Adobe Flash Media Encoder. Justin, not Justin. What am I saying? Um. I guess make a new folder so you can extract all this SCFH DSF I label my JTV because I do stuff on Justin.tv as well anyways once you have you don't want to look that stuff up so uh open up your web browser you can see you go to Ustream but first you want to get your stuff so I'll go to I'll put a link in the description for Flash Media Encoder and uh a big old download button over there and you're going to want to download and install and uh, then after that you're going to want to look up SCFH DSF I'll put, also put a link there's a second let's click the second link here it'll all be in Japanese but all you need to know is the word download and there it's here at the bottom and click the .41 binary is the first highlighted green link down here I'll also put a link in the description once you have that as I said you're going to extract into its own folder let me put this back up here then you're going to go to ustream.tv go to your I guess username go to dashboard which is right on there go to channel oh no not that click the channel over right here under premium services and go down to the link that says remote so uh, I'll click on that but there there be yeah just click on it I'll show you anyway there's this which you'll have to enter copy and paste into Adobe Flash Media Encoder same with the stream key they should be blanked out I have to do that because you know you don't want to I don't want to have anyone looking at that there's this Flash Media Encoder XML file I ended up ignoring that because it didn't work right on mine and that should be all you need from the internet so you don't want to open up the folder you extracted SCFH to open up the program which is SCFH <laughs> you see it's this little little box here so now you want to open Adobe Flash Media Encoder And you can see it's all it's already got it already got it set up here anyways go back to this box click refresh and click OK after you click on flash media encoder on the list there now what you can't see on the the capture is uh, to the it's to my left of my second screen I'll I'll add another so I'll re-record it later and slap it in about three seconds well I'm gonna go ahead and do this recording here on this little other window here to configure SCFH DSF and uh, for some reason I can't capture it on the same screen that I'm on you know on the other everything else and uh, so yeah anyways for my monitor, I set it to 1920 by 1080 for the size over here. And uh, let's see. Then click this desktop and it should stream your desktop. Not stream, just capture your desktop area. And I usually just keep show mouse cursor. And uh, that's about it. Software nearest. Thread number, I don't know, that depends, I guess, on your computer area selection clicking this will bring up a humongous green box 
and you can just drag that over your desktop and uh, that's all there is to it or drag here you can drag it to an application say you're playing minecraft or something it's in a box in a window so you just click drag here and drag it right over minecraft and it'll, it'll only display minecraft nothing else so yeah run most of your games in windows and there you go now we'll now go back to the regular uh, regular part of the tutorial I just had to throw this in there alright and uh, after you're done with all that nonsense it should be set up and you go back to your flash media encoder click it in the drop box of device format I usually use VPS VP6 <laughs> frame rate I keep at 30 my input size that varies on your internet connection and computer I guess I keep mine at 960 by 540 it's half of 1080p so uh, it's 540p I'm guessing huh. the bit rate I have at 1500 but that also varies the internet connection the output size I have 640 by 360 and that's about it I got the audio set to stereo mix to pick up my PC sounds and everything set accordingly over here you'll have your stream keys which you'll copy and paste and then click connect and uh, the little start button over here and it should start streaming to ustream.tv and when you close this out it'll automatically close out the ICFH bring you back to your normal desktop so that is all for for streaming to ustream.tv I also have a similar tutorial for justin.tv on a different channel which I may eventually put on this channel so go to chewysci55 on YouTube to look up for that tutorial ah. so uh yeah <laughs>